Okay, We're I'm, ready. I'm never a fan of acting class. It's uh, something I do because Jackie just makes me do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I never want to. I'm always wriggling out of it. But hey, you've conned me into doing it. Yeah, we're sitting here dolled up in wigs and dresses and earrings, and I've got a crown on. I'm I'm Queen Elizabeth. You are Queen Elizabeth, and I am Margaret Thatcher from the Crown. <laughs> Look at the hair on her. It's amazing. Are we on <laughs> Facebook Live or anything? We are on yeah. Facebook Live. Facebook Live. Um, I've even dressed up. I've got my pussy bow. Uh, mm-hmm. Top on. Oh, that's the I've thing. I've got with the, the earrings, yeah. the full hair, the, the Margaret remarkable. Thatcher hair, the bag, the shoes. I am in the zone. <laughs> Show me the shoes. Oh, oh they're yeah. very like grandma <laughs> shoes. <laughs> Kitten heels. <laughs> I've just got some sort of dottery old birds uh, top on, some pearls. I think uh, Queen looks casual today. The Queen's wig, mm. a plastic crown from Hungry Jacks, <laughs> and Palestine's big googly glasses. I think the budget was spent on me. I just think quite. You're right. I think you're right, Jackie. Okay, would you like to remove yourself from the room? Because the bit we're doing comes from uh, The Crown. Yes, so this is, the uh, just to set the scene, if you haven't seen The Crown, uh, there comes a time where the Queen has had enough of Margaret Thatcher, mm. so she quietly lets the paper know um, that she is no fan. And obviously that's a big mistake because you never do that. You know, the Prime Minister's office yes. and, and Buckingham Palace must have a very good working relationship and this would d- divide them. So you're going to do it when Margaret Thatcher goes to see the Queen. The Margaret's pissed. Margaret She's got knows the, rag on. the Queen has said something bad about her, even though it wasn't a direct quote yeah. from the Queen. Yeah. So she's come to confront her in their weekly meeting. So should we have a listen to how the voices are supposed to sound? Yeah. Okay, you'll hear Margaret Thatcher, then you'll obviously hear the Queen. Just a snippet, A little roll the tape. Uncaring, confrontational and socially divisive. That's how these sources so close to the Queen describe me. Prime Minister. That I lack compassion and that my government has done irretrievable damage to the country's social fabric. My goal is to change this country from being dependent to self-reliant, and I think in that I am succeeding. I have had to learn many difficult lessons as sovereign. Perhaps the hardest is that I am obliged to support my prime ministers on any position they take. There we go. Mm. Okay, so okay. here we go. So let me walk out the door, Kyle, because um, I'd like to enter the room. Thank you. Like out that. you go. Okay. Hang on. Out you go. Finish with you. God, you're really getting into it. She should have been a theatre actor, in all honesty. She loves this shit. Okay, you ready? You, um... Okay, so, you, Adam, shivering Adam, you're going to be the foot soldier. Uh-huh. That goes... That, so you'll swing the door open and go, Ma'am, the uh, Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher. Right. Here we go. Ma'am, the Prime Minister, Margaret Thatcher. Your Majesty. <laughs> Gee, you went down really low in the curtsy. I like that. Oh, wow. Yes, she is Margaret oh, Thatcher. Look at really her. She really is. She's got the face and everything. Prime Minister, what on earth do you want? Before coming here today, I checked with the Cabinet Secretary and it turns out that in the seven years I have been Prime Minister, we have had 164 audiences, Mm. always the model of cordiality, productivity and mutual respect. So it is perhaps not unreasonable to expect an isolated hiccup. What hiccups that? I was under the impression that the Majesty never expressed her political views. I don't, I don't. That there was an unbreakable code of silence between Sovereign and First Minister. Listen, Margaret, if you're referring to that Sunday Times article, I've always advised my Prime Ministers against reading those damn lying, scandalous newspapers. Well, I don't, ma'am. Well, now, they misunderstand, they misquote and misrepresent. Then everyone gets into such a little fluster, everyone just needs to calm their f*** down. But my press secretary does read them, <laughs> and he was working and all his relationships with the editors are very good. And the editor in this case assured him that the sources were unimpeachable, close to the Queen, 
unprecedentedly close. Well, I'm sure a clarification will soon be forthcoming. In the meantime, we should make a start on the business of the week, shall we? I'm only mindful of the time, that's all. I'm very busy and I desperately need for a shit. This is the business, ma'am. The only business. Look at the paper. Uncaring... Confrontational. I'm, I'm, sure, I'm telling you, that shit's crowning right now, so get a move on. Socially divisive. That's how these sources so close to the Queen describe me. Prime Minister, I've had to learn many difficult lessons as sovereign. One of those, perhaps the hardest, is that I'm obliged to support my Prime Minister on any position they take. Even yours, regarding his sanctions against South Africa. What, what have you got against the blacks? My question is, given the lack of impact it has on your day-to-day political fortunes, yet how important the black woman and black man is to me. Could you not have supported me just once? My fellow Commonwealth leaders, maybe, many of whom I consider to be friends. Now that I've betrayed them, this is what they feel, that I've betrayed them on an issue most important to them. Well, they only need to read the Sunday Times. They're South Africans. They don't have a news agency. Nell, it will give them no doubt as to your position. Oh, look, our time is up. Oh. No, I say time's up. No, my no, time's up. No, I'm ringing up. the bell. My time no, is I'm, up. No, don't you ring your bell. I'm ringing my bell. I must say, Your Majesty, you must be very looking forward to the wedding tomorrow of Prince Andrew and Sarah Ferguson. Well, if you could get in the time machine and find out what Andrew ends up doing. <laughs> Goodness gracious, he's at some pedo island and that fat red ginger has gone by the wayside. I wish you'd go by the wayside too. You're a ginger. Well, now, don't get salty with me, Prime Minister. I'll give you salty, bitch. I'll spit right in your mouth while I slap your bitch face upside. Oh, well, now, there's no need for that. Your boobs are much saggier than my boobs. I don't think so. But you've got a hell of a bush on you too, you filthy unhinged bitch. <laughs> I told you, I'm going to shit. I've almost put some skitties in my gra- my undies. Well, I, I, I'm off script, by the way. Just so. I don't. I well, I never. I bet you've got your blobs. <laughs> I can smell period all over you the moment you walk I in here. I do not have my blobs. <laughs> oh, cr- <laughs> what's that? Was Cardi B just thrown into the mix? I must go. Yes. Yeah. Well, get well, along. I'm the one that get said I freaking, wanted to go. You don't need to bail me out. And get your fat ankle kitten heels out of here, Mole. Your Majesty. Prime Minister. I shall go now. Well, what are you waiting for? God. Okay, there she goes. Off she goes. Goodbye. And scene. And scene. And scene. I did go off a bit script, a bit off script. A bit off script. Nowhere in the real crown does the Queen accuse Margaret Thatcher of having her periods. Well done, Jackie. You were Jackie, very good. You didn't break character once. No. That was good, Jack. I think I might keep this week. I quite like oh, it. Oh, you can't get around like that. <laughs> is it better in my head than what it is in real life? Probably. What is it like? <laughs> it does <looks> it? <laughs> <laughs> you have to talk like that if you're going to get it around does. like that. It does. I really do like it. Maybe if you'd have adopted this before the uh, end of the marriage, uh, mm, maybe it would it have It could have survived. <laughs> <laughs> you look good as Margaret Thatcher. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, looks like a very cheap queen with a beard. Queen went to the dollar shop uh, to this, find her clothes. Uh, bloody Hungry Jack's crown. <laughs> well done. Oh, don't did you, you love enjoy it? it? I did. I really did. You mean... I did. I did. <laughs> I did. You imagine, imagine Margaret. How would Margaret Thatcher sound mm. uh, during orgasm? Give me that. Oh, oh, oh! It's exactly the same as the Queen sounds taking a shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same feeling. <laughs> oh God, bless you. Adam, have you, what are you coughing at? Oh, sorry. You're I'm not just... going to give us Rona on the last two days. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, some O news coming up. Acting school done for the year. Thank God. Aww. Well done, Jackie. Well done, Queen. Well, no, yes, well done. Queen. Yes, Queen. <laughs> Cash cards and stars. O news on the way. Stand. The Kyle and Jackie O show.